Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Speed Sim. I'm E House. I'm Andre. Uh, today we're taking a look at the brand new Die I5 mask that River City Airsoft just got in. Yep. And uh, we are going to take a look at the differences between the I5 and the I4. Uh, this is not an in depth review just yet, as we have uh, not used it. However, that will be coming very soon because we like to do in depth reviews after we've actually used something for a long period of time. Uh, this episode of Speed Sim is brought to you by Shot Show Flu. Uh, <laughs> just about everybody got hit in some capacity. Andre and I are hopped up on Dayquil and unhealthy amounts of vitamin C. Uh, if it's possible to overdose, we might. So orange juice for the wing. Yeah. So uh, this might be the last episode of Speed Sim if we end up overdosing on vitamin <laughs> C. We will see what happens. Yeah. Um, so Andre, you got this i five in. Yes, I got uh, this i five. Um, once again, this uh, this episode is sponsored by River City Airsoft. Um, so yeah, so I got this i five uh, primarily because I was interested in the new innovations that they brought to the table as far as this i five is concerned. Um, I like how the dial on the back here is adjustable. You know, it, it adjusts like much like your op score helmets, where it adjusts in the back and it tightens up on your head. It's more like my Team Wendy, or really, Team Wendy, with the way it right, ratchets. Right. So yeah, it, you twist this and it tightens up on the back of your head, which is fantastic. Um, now everyone is really confused about the whole, you know, they had this HUD thing. They, they weren't explaining very well on the, uh, on the trailers or whatever. Literally this, this heads-up display is only for paintball guns. So if you have like the M2, I think, or whatever it is from Dai, um, that's only going to be compatible with the Dai paintball guns. So it has nothing to do with airsoft. It's not going to have a little screen on the bottom here where it tells you how many things. It's literally just uh, a Bluetooth version for your paintball gun. So we're not going to go over that, which, I mean, I was super hyped up for it. I thought it was going to be something really new and innovative, but it wasn't. Yeah, they so, ended up uh, not having an airsoft version at launch. So anyway, um, going over some features on this guy, it still uses the same i4 lens as the Adai i4s, which is fantastic because many of us have already invested a lot of money into new lenses, whether it be blue or whatever color you choose. So that's fantastic. They kept that same uh, i4 lens, which is fantastic. Also, just to reiterate the old phrase, if they ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, exactly. The lens was certainly not something anyone was ever complaining about on the i4. No, definitely not. And like I said, people invested already a ton of money into the lenses, so why change that out again and have them rebuy all these weird lenses again? Yeah. Also. So anyways... Um, on the inside, it has a quick change uh, foam, which I haven't quite figured out myself. I'm still kind of tinkering with it a little bit, but it is quick change. I can see little clips here that, I'm, again, what's, like I was saying, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how it works. But it's fantastic because unlike the i4 or the inside of the lens here, uh, it's just regular foam. There's nothing else on it. On the i5, however, it has this new uh, uh, kind of soft... Uh, uh, outer shell to it and then it has the main foam on the inside so what this little extra layer of foam does it pr uh, uh, dissipates sweat faster away from your head uh, if you noticed on the i4 when you're playing extreme heat or you just got really sweaty um, the <laughs> the foam would build up full of sweat and then you put it back on your face and you have this whole sweat dripping down the face it was not comfortable I'm very familiar with that effect yeah so they have done away with something new which is uh, which takes away the sweat from when it's, it's a quick dry sweat, I think is what it's called. I don't exactly remember the exact terminology for it, but when you are very hot and you are sweating a lot, it will dissipate the sweat much faster than the original I-4 would do. The other theory, I think, behind the quick change foam is that you can actually have more than one set of foam with you. Yep. So if you're going to be uh, out on the field for a long time and maybe you're taking the mask on and off repeatedly, uh, then what you could do, is, don't take it off in the middle of the field, but I mean if you're like a safe zone or something, um, what you can do is actually carry extra foam and you can swap that out so that if one set of foam gets really, really sweat logged and you just don't want, have, want that on your face anymore, then you can swap that and have nice new dry foam, let the other set dry out. Right. Uh, also, uh, they did sell extra foam kits for the old I4s. Yes. But you had to, okay, here's the thing with the I4, which was a little bit of a pain in the butt, was when you had, I've changed many foams on the I4s just because of rental stuff. Um, you had to literally cut out the old foam, completely cut it out, and then peel away and then continue scraping off all the old foam ah. and then clean it with the alcohol uh, cleaning kit, whatever they had, for the kit, and then you'd have to re-glue the new foam on there. So, that so was a huge this eliminates pain. that entire process right. and lets you just swap the foam pieces in and out, pre-glued from dye, yep. 
you know, pre-done. So it just makes the mask more modular and allows you to keep it going and more serviceable for a longer period of time. Absolutely. Now, obviously the i5 is not for everybody. Uh, as you can tell, the i4 versus i5, there's a little bit of a size difference there. So people like Eric, who have a bigger face, can fit the i5 a little bit better. So if you have not yet had the i4 before and you're looking to get into a full face mask, uh, the i4 or the i5 is definitely something you should be looking into if you have a longer face or a bigger face in, in that regard. And you can just fit it all around in bigger faces. Uh, I, I've had some people tell me that they don't like the i5 because it looks ugly or whatever. That's your own opinion. Uh, it, it looks just like an i4, kind of, in a sense, but it's got a little bit more of a, a color scheme to it. It's got a little bit more colors all over the place, but whatever. This is a whole your opinion. If you don't like the i5, don't get it. Just get the i4? Get the i4. It's, it, I don't like there's it. So many, there's so many face protection options out there. Know. If you don't like the look of one, there's going to be one out there you like. If you like the i4, just stick with the i4. There's nothing wrong with it. They're going to keep producing it until... Yeah. like. We're not going to sit here and say, oh, you have to update the no, i5. No, it's, I'm not uh, saying that at all. Um, I think One thing I would say, though, with the larger profile, the i5, is it may theoretically sacrifice a little bit of cheek weld, but because the dies are flexible... Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's because the dies are flexible, it should still be fine. Yeah. Um, I don't see anything But, you know, could that theoretically be an issue? Maybe. Um, maybe. We'll find out more we'll after we run more. it more, but it's winter here in western New York, so we're not so, playing a ton. That kind of stinks. Um, aside from that, uh, taking out the, the lens is really simple, much like the i4, except it's a little bit different. Instead of having one tab on the inside where you push in and push forward, uh, it's got two tabs, one on, the one on the top and one on the bottom that you squeeze and then you push it in. And then this whole kind of like the whole ear kind of folds in on itself and then you can push the lens out. It's really simple once you get used to it. Uh, I was doing a live stream the other day and uh, it took me a minute to figure out, but you, you just push these two tabs in, push it in, and the whole lens comes out. So quick changing your lenses. Again, I actually think simple. that's a little easier than the it, i4. It was, it was a little bit uh, tough, uh, I'll admit, because Well, tough to new. learn, but once you know it, would it theoretically be a little easier? Because I think the i4 was a little esoteric in that regard. Yeah, well, the i4, you know, depending, like, again, it all depends on how they were built because sure. I mean, they're manufactured. So there's going to be, you know, one i4 is not going to be exactly the same as another i4. And I would say the same thing with the i5 is when I got my, the tabs were a little tough to press in. So I yeah. had to work that in and then push it forward. So I've been, these are being passed for two. So it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, so tolerances. Yeah, tolerances are a little bit different. Now, another thing that I want to quickly mention is that the i5 does come with a camera mount, which I thought was really unique because of the fact that the i4 has never had that uh you had to do something like what i have here right now is a new camera uh, i had to grab my contour mount and stick it on the lens which i was a little bit hesitant to do when i first got it but then i got over it which now with the i5 having a camera mount dedicated for this mask is fantastic as you can see i had used my contour mount and i stuck it to the lens of my pre-existing i4 lens um, so the cool thing is that they did include a new, uh, they did include a mount for your, uh, for your, uh, for your mask here. And essentially, now I haven't done this yet because I have mine already attached, so I don't, I don't have a purpose for it at the moment, but I might change out if this lens ever, you know, takes a good hit. But anyways, uh, you take out, you can put it on either side. You take out one of these, um, little covers here for the die logo or whatever. And then you slap it on there, and it uses a quarter-inch mount. So any really action camera that you have out there, the Sony's, the CoPros, or the Contour, it'll screw right on there, and it locks it in. And then you have an action camera right there on your on your on your mask, which I think is fantastic. Um, it's nothing something that you've seen in the uh, industry before. So I think it's a great addition to the mask itself. Good idea, though. And of course, if you still prefer, you know, having like a brain exploder mount or something, it, still uh, the, yeah, these vents are still compatible, yep. so you can still do that. Shout out to Brain Exploder. Good yes, guy. shout out to Brain Exploder. Partnered with him at Shot Show. <laughs> uh, he probably gave us the Shot Show flu. Actually, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna blame him for that. All right, we can do that. <laughs> uh, aside from that, uh, as you guys know, um, all the i4s or any uh, die product does come with a chin strap. I took mine out immediately because I don't really use it. It's but not really necessary. It, you don't really need it unless, especially not with the uh, with the rotary no. lock on the back. It's really I thought, you can get away with that. I right? thought I'd still mention just because it comes with this nice new little uh, kind of soft chin strap. Which is fine. Well, it's but, better than the old one. Well, the other two. But, you know, I just thought I had something to mention because it does come with this nice, neat little uh, soft neoprene thing here. So, aside from that, there's a little bit of an overview. Yeah, I guess uh, as far as, you know, what we have to say for now, 
that's, that's all uh, positive. You know, yeah. it feels the same. Feels like a knife, uh, a knife, a dye product. Yeah, and um, those are and those are some positive changes, I think. One thing, that, one thing, really quick, uh, I want to mention is that all the vents, like as far as, far as the ear vents for better communication and hearing people, have been updated. So they're a little bit wider than the i4s. Oh yeah, they're a lot better. Yeah, they're a lot wider, so you can definitely hear a lot, but more. Obviously, you might not be able to hear if you have a beanie or something on, like myself. Um, so they have that addition as well, and the vents for communication uh, talking forward have been updated, as you can see, a little bit wider than the uh, i4s. So yeah. Not much of an update, but they still updated just because people have most likely on the paintball side have been complaining that they couldn't hear as well as out of the i4, so they updated that. Cool. Sweet. So uh, I guess for now, that's the... Uh just, just a quick overview. Yeah, that's the gist. Quick overview, quick comparison, talk right. about what's new. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have our total in-depth thoughts on this mask later. Later on, right. Uh, All right, guys. Yeah. So this has been an overview of the Die i5 versus the i4, as you can already tell from the uh, title line on the video I above. hope you can read. Yeah, that, that would help. Thank you, um, teacher. And one last thing, guys. Our shirts are live on Spreadshirt. You can get this cool, awesome gun logo shirt from us. Nice little spread there. Yeah, we got my pistol, Eric's gun on there, so if you guys are interested in that, we have that one on, on, on the on Spreadshirt website. We'll and put the link in the description. Links in the description, or if you don't like that, we have one of ourselves just posing, uh, done by Highways. so was this one. Yep. So, Thank you very thanks. much to Highways. Highways. Uh, awesome. awesome stuff. So, thanks guys for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh my god, I feel so sick. Uh, I do not feel good. This... This is the face of misery. I can't, I can't feel myself. <sighs>